Hello everyone and welcome back to another uh, video in the 13 nights of Halloween. The Halloween season keeps on going. The 13. Oh, actually, funny enough, yesterday I realized it was. I thought it was the start of 13 nights of Halloween, and then I realized, oh wait, that's 14 days. It was. I was gonna start on the 18th, but I was like, wait a minute, that's 14 days. But if you actually do the calculations, 31 minus 13 is 18. <laughs> but if you do it by calendar <laughs> days and video releases, that would technically make it the 14 nights of Halloween. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's Halloween days. That's all you need to know. Yeah. And funny enough, this has happened every single year since I've started 13 Nights of <laughs> Halloween. Where I'm never 100% sure what the start date is. But today, we're going to be... Uh, we're here with Zenrot. Say hello, Zenrot. Hello, everybody. And uh, one of the things we're going to do today is we're just going to watch a bunch of Halloween commercial compilations. This was made by... Uh, Obviously, all these commercials were made by the corporations themselves, but this compilation itself was made by Halloween Central, so you can I'll, I'll make sure to leave us something in there. Plenty of people are going to theirs because a lot of people feel nostalgia for commercials, me and Zen included, which is really funny. We were talking about it beforehand about how nobody actually wants to watch commercials, but then strangely enough, for the old ones, you do feel kind of weirdly like, oh yeah, I can look back at the ones in the 90s, 80s, and 70s and feel some form of nostalgia for them. <laughs> Nobody wants to be advertised to, yeah. but when it's not an advertisement anymore, you're just like, I remember that. Yeah, it's kind of like a <laughs> yeah. look back. So, like let... uh, that Pokemon commercial where they get smushed in the bus into yeah. the Game Boy cartridge. The best commercial of all time. Yeah, of course. That's great. All right, so we're going to start right here. Now, these are from the 90s, 80s, and 70s. So the 90s ones me and Zen will know, and then the 80s and 70s will be jump scares for us to see. <laughs> so let's start. Halloween. Blockbuster video this is starting with a Blockbuster commercial. Home. Rest yeah, in peace, yeah, Blockbuster. I think I already remember this one. Hopefully my channel doesn't get taken down by Rosemary. Friday the... By this extreme... Oh, Scooby-Doo! These extreme uh, <laughs> artifact versions of <laughs> classic shows and TV shows. Oh, man. three ninety nine for two movies. That's basically... Uh, to be fair, I think for three ninety nine you can actually rent them off of... Um, YouTube videos or something, but I never do that, but I would for <laughs> for Blockbuster. It's a weird thing to think about. Man. Oh, Count Chocula. It's actually good, man. I actually yeah. like that. I need to ask my mom to see if, they, if she can find any Booberry cereal, because I forgot that it's actually the season for the spooky Halloween cereal Yeah, for the well. spooky cereal, yeah. Yeah. The only... I appreciate that they made sure to make that costume fat for that kid. <laughs> Nothing says uh, Halloween like <laughs> also pretended to be fat for it. What is this? <laughs> a Weebles? Do you? I don't know what I, are. I did not. I am unaware of Weebles. But they yeah, look this like is, little... this is clearly not part of my. You, what the fuck is a Weebles? What were they doing in the 70s? Of the, like, they were like Weeble Wobbles. <laughs> you think we could ask Connell about Weebles? <laughs> Imagine living in a world where instead of Spider-Man 2, you have Weebles. <laughs> this has to be a 90. That kid has a 90s flair to him. Dunkin' Donuts commercial. It's scary. Scary Dunkin' Donuts. I do like Dunkin' Donuts. I do too. I'm a big fan of donuts in general. Even though I think you shouldn't have that much. Another Dunkin' Donuts. Zombie Dunkin'. Dunkin Donuts is proud to announce the Wait, is it zombies or Frankenstein? What's happening? A combination of them. Of Haunted Donuts. Oh, hell yeah, they're alive. <laughs> Oh, we made them even bigger donuts. That's what they're we're celebrating Halloween by making. They're selling. They're selling the smaller ones. These are minis. There's two of them. Oh, the zombies are attacking Frankenstein's lab to get the minis. Oh, that makes sense to me. There's a lot of lore going on right now. Yeah, a lot of Dunkin' Donuts. This is a McDonald's. Oh, McDonald's. That's exactly what McDonald's is actually like. You have a dollar bill in your hand, and it just turns into <laughs> shitty food. That's true. I could really exactly use it. what some. going to McDonald's is like. They got a magician to make sure to do this. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, you think that magician really did that? Where they smoked a puff of air, and one second later got a soda in it? <laughs> Man, imagine going to Halloween for McDonald's. Oh, is this actual footage from... That? 
I think might actually be stock footage from Bride of Frankenstein, but I don't remember. It might just be a commercial too. Mm, I don't think it is actually. Now that I see this, I've been. Well, this looks different. The, the yeah. beginning of it looked like terrible quality in comparison, even. Fair enough. Yes, but where, where is Frankenstein and Frank? The other scientists in Frankenstein. Yeah, now you can tell one hundred percent. That's true. Two left feet. Radio Shack. <laughs> Talk about something decrepit as Frankenstein. Yeah, holy shit. I, most people watching this probably don't know what Radio Shack is. And talking about that, Circuit City, which is basically like Radio Shack, but died quicker, I think. Not that I can think. Of. Actually, I don't know if there's any Circuit Cities left. Oh, look, this is VHS VSR. $169 for this CRT. I wish I, how much does the CRT television go for now? CRT is a shitload because you can't get them anywhere anymore. Yeah. Ooh, goosebumps. Smell my feet. I wonder if we'll actually get taken down for the goosebumps. <laughs> oh, oh, you might. That's a uh, CRTs that work are like about the same price as that actually posted right there. Really, man. Yeah. Talk about value. I used to have a lot of the goosebumps books. I think I've read them all actually. All 500 of them. Big lots Halloween. Halloween's coming. Get the spooky skeleton and some kind of zombie man, I think. And you can decorate the house with these assorted 20-inch sculpture lights. Your choice just Man. Unfortunately, the, the decorating your house big, like it's Christmas, but it's for Halloween, never took off like it does for Christmas. Which no, is not really. But yeah, because I really like how I like Halloween decorations more than Christmas decorations. Yeah, Sam. Especially because they're so crazy. But I think that's the thing, is that people go too far with them. And the people that, even though that's cool, there are kids technically in Halloween. <laughs> so... Yeah. Can't be yeah. scaring them. Oh man, Polaroid picture. He had scared by a dumb cat. I wasn't scared. The reveal here, it's not gonna be a cat. Nothing under the bed. What the fuck is that? I'm trying to think of what oh, creature would be hiding under the bed. Is that Vincent Price? Oh. Yes, it is. Oh my god. Oh man, I miss Vincent Price. Even though I, it, by the time I was alive, he was uh, fully done with his movie run. But what a legendary movie run Vincent Price had! <laughs> I want to say this man released about 20 movies a year back in the 50s. All of them horror movies. In all of them, some variation of like the Bat or the Chainsaw, something like that. Funny enough, you can kill a vampire. Oh, thank with a coke. God. It's a coke. Oh my god, he's shotgunning the coke. He turns human? And it brings him back to life. Wow. Yeah, that's what Coca Cola. Funny enough, if you try yeah. and drink Coca Cola that way by in, in, exor absorbing its essence, you will turn younger. <laughs> they don't tell you about that. <laughs> yeah, that's the secret. More Dunkin' Donuts. Bro, I could use a donut right now. I could too, man. That is extremely good looking donut right there. Good they're never that good when you get them, though. No, they're not. I wish food looked as good as they do in the, I know. Uh, in the commercials. If if food looked as good in fast food commercials, there are so many Dunkin' Donuts commercials. If Dunkin'. food looked as good in commercials as it like, or in real life as it did in commercials, the world would be a better place. We would have world peace. We would have 100. percent Oh man, I would eat the shit out of that donut. See, this uh, is the beginning of it where the zombies started strolling in because they were making such a good Dunkin' Donut. Oh, of course. Okay. You're just children. We can give you. Oh, oh, I was horrified, but you're actually three feet tall. <laughs> Here you go. Target. Target. I I didn't even realize. I, I mean, I guess I did realize, but I had forgotten that Target was a thing. Yeah, yeah, it's still around. You I can... know it's around now, but I, I, for some reason I felt like Target was a newer thing. It's Where, probably not. Yeah. Where oh else my would... god. I know. <laughs> it's got a rocket. <laughs> the, the, the Target had to unfortunately stop selling the rocket-powered brooms after this. Too many people launch themselves into the air, harming themselves, pretending to be witches. Mummy. Now here's my controversial thing. Do you think you could take down a mummy, Zen? Yeah. Yeah, I like, Yeah, they have no muscles. They're all just like withered husks. Yeah, I feel there's like no, there's no strength there. How would they? How would they fight back? To it? I agree with yeah. you. You should be able to easily. Well, 
Not, not a mummy like from the mummy where he's got like evil magic. Magic mummy? Like, no, that's different. But, but a regular a mummy. mummy that's like yeah, no. That that I, I would body a mummy free yeah. easily. Pillsbury mummy has no shot. I've never seen anyone actually make Pillsbury Doughboy cookies. Oh, uh, they're pretty good. Huh. Like Pillsbury cookies? Has, no, has our, has our like, sister made? Like oh, okay. See, this is where Blueberry was entered into the the equation. Actually, here's some fun lore. Apparently, TV commercials used to be animated and fun characters, because a lot of people say, how come commercials don't have this anymore? It's because they did this in the 70s to attract kids to buy their cereal. And then eventually they had to cut that out because it was working too well. It's like, you guys are clearly marketing this towards children, and we needed to just stop. Uh. Every Frankenstein costume, it makes it look like the oh person is way too big for it. The oh, rain so made them try to kill each other over chess. I've had that feeling. Oh, Buckbuster. Buy some, rent some terrible horror movies because it's uh, sponsored yeah. by me, Elvira. Settle down to enjoy Blockbuster. Settle down and enjoy Blockbuster. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can't do that anymore. This is the smallest Elvira's boobs have ever looked on TV screens. This Halloween, Catherine she is famous for how large they look. Genuine Kodak film from Thrifty. Whether it's Thrifty line, movie film, Kodak is the choice of professionals. Thrifty carries a full line of Kodak film, including C120. I forgot that I guess people would just buy Kodak, and but nowadays you just take a picture on your phone. But they actually used to sell film and stuff. And how else are you going to take a picture of your kid's costume than with Kodak film? Your memories, the more you need Kodak film and Thrifty. Fat guy watching movie. Hey, pretty funny movie, huh? What are you, a nut? This is scary. Oh, scary? This isn't scary. If you want horror, you gotta go with the classics. Dracula, Frankenstein, The Wolf Man. Ooh. Stamp? Spooky, Stamp commercial? Huh? Oh, they're cool. I could send one to my mother. <laughs> You'd mail these? These are special edition. You're really starting to freak me out. You know, I can't really... Like, is this a stamp collecting commercial? Yeah, I can't really talk because I collect Magic the Gathering cards because... Oh, is that Castlevania Game Boy? <laughs> oh my god, that Game Boy is so evil. It is. Funny enough that this is the game, same Game Boy that can just uh, survive a missile strike. So he can survive turning into a bat for a bit. Easily, yeah. Uh, and all, all the cartoons. Were... Yeah, Animaniacs. Yes. Back when they first originally released. Back oh, before I knew. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, not not 100% sure about that. Oh, I remember when they fought. There's Lord Zed. I remember when they fought that giant pumpkin man. <laughs> the all those money was paid to make sure to make those little ghosts animate. Oh man, I remember when this first originally came out. I love the Tower of Terror. Uh, it's the into it was the only reason to ever go to Disneyland California for a very long time because it was famously a very shit theme park when it came out. <laughs> Maybe one of the worst ideas ever made by Disney at the time, at least the idea of making a theme park based on California in California for people not in California is maybe one of the worst ideas you could ever have. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound very good at all. No, now now it's better. Now that it's uh, d d the Marvel campus, basically. Holy shit. $24.99 for a washer and dryer? That seems cheap nowadays. Uh, it most certainly is. $500 fridge? Dude, d they were living it up back then. I wish I could time travel and just buy shit right here. I shouldn't and warp it back to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if only. If only. Go ahead, check. Oh, man, oh, that's... man, is Sears even still around? It is. Uh, in malls, I guess. Another blockbuster. This part always chokes me up. This Halloween. I get it. Oh, they're, they're bats watching it. That's pretty funny. Yeah, how did the bats get the TV upside down is my question. They're not very strong. Bats are not known for their strength. <laughs> <laughs> 
costumes for I remember where I was where I was enough. man imagine that's wearing that oh my god the six million dollar man Spider-Man even back then oh, man. Spider-Man it was Superman's just the mask <laughs> Superman is not where I'm at no the, the Superman I'm gonna go back because I'm almost positive that Superman one was just his ass and nothing else was it? I, I thought it was like a domino mask. No, I'm gonna go back. I'm almost positive it was just an ass. It is just an ass. <laughs> oh, no, look. In the front. Oh, you're right. I see go, go it. Back Super, pause, go back to Superman and pause it again. I will, all right, I will all right. die on this hill. All right, all right. We're going back to Wilco right here. Dollar eighty-three to three ninety-nine. You get what you pay for for that much. Yes, okay, I right see. Here. He, yeah, he does see, look very little costume. Dumb. Superman does not have a mask. No, he's never worn a mask. Even back then, in this time, he did not wear a mask. Also, that Spider-Man looks exactly like Spider-Man still does today. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most iconic designs. Even I can say, look at Batman, yeah. and I go like, oh no, that's the Adam West Batman. That's yeah, not... specifically the, the old... Uh, also, the cartoons. He looked like that in the cartoons. Yeah, he did. But... Yeah, like yeah. the earlier Batman, cartoon. Superman, now let's talk about the ultimate costume, this holy Spider hobby, Spider apparently. Hobby. You can get holy hobby. hobby. Man, but the dudes back then were able oh to go like, oh, like oh, is it? Make Halloween fun and easy. Make just one stop at Woolworth or Woolco. That has to be like one of those places where it's like, we have no choice but to go here. Oh, Big Bad Beetleborgs! Featuring the Jay Leno ghost! <laughs> Oh my god, the Beetleborgs Halloween Bash. Yes! You know what? I love that they looked at some crazy. some sick Toku Sentai uh, footage and they said, you know what the show needs? A fucking ghost that looks like Jay Leno! <laughs> A big, 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 dude, I remember big, Beetleborgs. Big, Beetleborgs. Beetleborgs. For some reason, in this show, they had like a mummy. They had a Dracula. I think they had a Frankenstein. They had a ghost. This is for Horror Nights, maybe? Yes, it is for Horror Nights. Ah, oh, Mummy Pumpkin. $16 to go to Horror Nights? That is crazy price. That is not how much it costs nowadays. <laughs> If you want uh, the general admission ticket, that's going to set you back about 200 bucks. Yeah, that's a... Jesus, man. Yeah. Everything so, sucks. It, it sure <laughs> does. Sucks man. There's a really good footage out there of The Undertaker going through his maze, because back in the day, there was a horror maze based off of The Undertaker from wrestling. That's extremely funny. Yeah, and he would, like, he talked about it in characters. He was like, yeah, this is when I didn't have my soul and I was going through a dark time. <laughs> more horror nights i love the idea of the undertaker like not even breaking kayfabe even in real life he's like no nah, i need to tell you yeah i was just kind of like a necromancer man for a bit this is where i fought my brother kane and mankind it's all it's all something <laughs> it, it feels like it was uh, all his trauma in one place and not actually a fun maze for him <laughs> 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 oh, diet coke. Haunted oh my diet god coke. that ghost is taking the diet coke something you'd never see in real life the ghost if i was dead and i had to choose for a soda to steal it would never be a diet coke <laughs> not a fan but she's fiending for that diet coke the halloween event you must see oh this is the halloween event of all time though Oh, it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I was wondering, what is this show? Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I've never seen this show, ever. Would you think, uh, based off of everything in it, I would be super into it? But I don't think it was on a channel I was watching, so I just didn't watch it. Ooh, goosebumps. Now this, now this looks like fun, son. I have no idea what's going on here, but these kids sure seem to be having fun, and it's goosebumps themed. That's all you need nowadays in a board game. Yeah, I mean... Man, this is a... a what the fuck is this game at? What's the goal of this? Uh, escape the cemetery, maybe? I actually don't know. A lot of board games in commercials don't make sense of rules. Dibs. Granola dibs? I don't remember this. Granola dip, a hauntingly Was this their way of trying to say, like, hey, maybe include granola, granola bars in your Halloween candy? candy. I, probably. Yeah, we, I would be pissed if I got a granola bar. I, I agree. Yeah, I no, just hell like no. Granola. Like, I think granola bars are pretty good, but if I got that in Halloween candy, I'd have been fucking livid, man. I agree with you. 
Look at that amazing Wonder Woman costume. <laughs> <laughs> the Hulk! Vader! Oh my god. Spider -Man. Oh, oh, Spider -Man. <laughs> this one actually included his face this time. I have no idea who's the dude next to Spider Man. These only look better with the quality of video. Well, worth doing its uh, damnedest here. Oh, more Dunkin' Donuts? No. The Burger Chef? Are you sure? They don't oh, sell burgers. Bur yeah, they don't sell burgers at Dunkin' Donuts. I'd. That would cause like oh it's Burger Shack. I Burger think I've chefs? ever seen a Burger Shack. Oh, this is a Burger Chefs. The magic meal? Is this Burger King? No, it's not. I don't know. Burger. I thought they said a uh, Burger Chef. Is that that's a real place? I don't know. There's no, it's no way it is anymore. There's no way it is anymore. Yeah, no way. Yeah, it has to. Had to been during the land rush in the 70s or something. I also would be pissed if I got uh, gum. A stick of gum? Yeah, you better be giving me a shit ton of gum. It's like, yeah, thank you for giving me something that will last me about 30 minutes. This kid is lying. Wrigley's gum is the best? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> that would be my exact reaction as a kid getting it. Call that number now. Find out if you want to hear some funny skeleton jokes. I can't believe there's an advertisement for a joke on. Yeah, dude, you can just call it. Send in a copy of your phone bill. $2 for the first minute and 45 cents each additional minute. Oh, I remember all the stories of the kids who called it. Oh. We already have a daddy, so how about a mummy? You just wrapped her in toilet paper. What am I going to be for Halloween? Yo, Ronnie, how about a clown? The fuck is that character? No, <laughs> what? I don't remember him having a vulture friend. My trick or treat safety oh, now we're back in the 70s for 70s Ronald. Stripes, so they reflect light. Me? Where'd you get them? Right at McDonald's. They had to unfortunately stop using Ronald McDonald because of all the clown scares. Yeah. So if you ever wonder, Ronald McDonald does not entice me to go to McDonald's. No, but he's you know he's an icon for better or worse. He is an icon. There's, not, there's nothing about this guy where I'm like I should go to McDonald's. No. Japanese Ronald maybe. Goldfish bowl. Okay. A chocolate covered marshmallow. Oh, what am I gonna be? Yeah, that's what everyone wants to be for Halloween is a chocolate covered marshmallow. Yeah, <laughs> a good one. What do you want, that's the spookiest thing in the world. Imagine being melted. Nice choice. Oh, he goes into a big Frankenstein. I don't remember his vulture friend. Um, oh, yeah, I don't Simpsons. remember that either. And Futurama. Ooh, nice. What's the magic word? Or no, is that the Simpsons alien? Is that, they're no, 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 aren't they? Uh, King and Kodos are not in Futurama. They're never in Futurama. Are you sure? I, I not until the crossover. I think. Actually, no, they they they, 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 they must have been in one of them. I, I think there might have been like a console of aliens. It would it would make sense for them to be in there. These all look great. Zombie Auto. So so separately. I remember Big Kid's Meals. It was a big day. When me as a big kid. Oh, you can call this guy right here to hear some funny pumpkin jokes then. You, you know what? We should bring this back. We should f open up a phone line where people can call us if they want to hear some funny jokes. So get your parents permission and call me at one 900 909 I think I'd run out of material eventually though. And I also feel like I would also get threats. So maybe it wouldn't be best against you to do it. We can't do it. Never mind, Zen. Cancel your idea. I, I think I vaguely remember this pizza thing. Retrojunk.com. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Pizza Hut. Yeah. I miss when Pizza Hut's for restaurants that you could go in. Yeah, there was a lot of things we've missed. Goosebumps Pizza! Yeah, you can't do that nowadays at all. 
X-Men arcade game that they always had in the Pizza Huts. Yeah. That and the Turtles went hard, man. Maybe that's probably the hardest thing for probably someone who was not there. They had to be just like every area just had like arcade machines in it. It was fucking awesome. Unfortunately, none of them have that now. <laughs> All of them are gone. All of them have been gutted. Chuck E. Cheese used to have, to have real arcade games. That's where I used to play the Simpsons arcade game. And now, you're lucky to find anything that resembles a real game. You're lucky to find Doodle Jump. Or, uh, Monkey Ball. There's goblins, there's ghouls, there's pirates about. Halloween's coming, the trick-or-treaters are out. But look at that witch on Halloween night. She's the first one with a blinking pumpkin light. Pumpkin light flashes so everyone knows. Yeah, of course, that's what you need. Everyone will let everyone know that you're there so you don't get run over. Because back when you did go trick-or-treating, there was a real threat of getting run over by somebody. Yes, there sure was. Yeah. It was fun, though. Knees, Man, knees. I love jack o lanterns That's such a fucking peak design. It is. Silly pumpkin. Silly carved pumpkin face. Yeah. It's pretty cool. What is this show? Okay, I was about to say, it has to be Fox Kids Fox, related. Yeah, I forgot about Fox Kids. Oh, I saw Spider Man right there, man. Hell yeah. yeah. Back when Fox cared about kids. TGIF. I don't think I ever watched ABC at this time. Though I did watch Sabrina the Teenage Witch eventually. Two Urkels? That's terrifying. That's two Sonic the Hedgehogs on screen. <laughs> What's a witch to do when she's invited to two parties? Body double. I look really cute. Sabrina. I feel like a lot of the time Sabrina made the situation worse. She never. Yeah. She never if I had magic she powers, fixed it. Yeah, if I had magic powers, I would not be like so like ripped to Sabrina, but I would never be in those situations that she found herself. Would, would different, yeah. I would simply find new uses for my magical powers. Yeah, these are terrifying T-shirts. Oh man. Glow in the dark bones, I might not survive. No, never. You, uh, especially at night as they come right towards me. Terrified. Hallmark. Was that a clip from. No, it's not. Not from Night the Night of the Living Dead. Halloween supplies was unlike any other. Because they didn't just enter Target. It's a Target commercial made to look like Twilight Zone. Pick up your game yeah, Tower of Terror. God. I kind of want to go on Tower of Terror again. It's as scary as it sounds. But I'm, I, I actually... It's not in California anymore. You have to go to... Uh, Florida, I think. Because over here, it's now the Guardians uh, ride. Oh, that's Alley. Yeah. Toys are... Toys are... Uh, also oh, Spooky's right? Gildan. What? Oh, it's a Muppet? <laughs> Is that supposed to be Kermit? That's a Yoda. That's one hundred percent a Yoda. Well, yeah. we need we need to go back and really appreciate that yeah, that really Yoda. Know what I'm looking at there. All right, well, God damn it. Okay, we'll go here. Start here. They also entered the Twilight Zone. Toys R Us has the. Yeah, that is, that is clearly a Muppet. That's supposed that to like Big Bird to me. Is that Big Bird? Big Bird's not a Muppet. No, but look at the striped legs. And the beak. Okay, what Muppet is that? Maybe it's Muppet Inc. Because it'd have to be... Maybe, actually, back then, Muppets Inc. still owned Big Bird, but it was a part of Sesame Street. So maybe they're just saying, like, yo, this is Muppets Incorporated, oh, but it's, it's not actually a Muppet. Yeah. yeah. Now, George Have Lucas had to have looked at this and said, this is 100% a Yoda. I've never seen a Yoda more like this. George, that is clearly <laughs> blue. I like how it's... It's the Yoda mask, and then it's just a t-shirt with Yoda on it. Yeah, that's how it it's was. It's like then. Yoda's clothes. That's to let it's everyone know what you... Yoda on it. <laughs> it's to let you know what you are. Back in the 80s, there, not everyone knew every single pop culture reference, so you had to wear your pop culture reference so people would understand it. Halloween <laughs> Even for something as popular as Star Wars back in the day. There was a really good, uh, in, in Toys That Made Us, which it was a, um, Toys R Us. no, oh, wait a minute, I need to see where this goes. Man, that miss Toys R Us. I miss being a child. This is actually, the Toys R Us is the first place I played, um, Majora's Mask. 
you'll howl. Uh, trying to figure out what the fuck am I supposed to do in this short and limited time before this moon fucks me up. But it did not go well. <laughs> I, I remember dying a bunch in that Toys R Us and playing the demo. When your kids are asking for a Halloween treat, Elmo says boo is Yes, this is what the kids need for Halloween, son. One, two, three, count with me and there's nothing scarier than trying to count. From Sony Wonder. Always collectible, now available at these locations. Add this to the PS5. Sony still has to own those rights. <laughs> what else are they gonna do? Damn it, I might have to carve a pumpkin this year. I'm I usually gonna... don't because I'm just lazy, but I might have to. Yeah, carving pumpkins sounds like it was always fun when I did it. It bangs, man. It's just rad. Like yeah, you kind of get lost in it for a bit, and you're just kind of—it's like an arts and crafts project where you're just like, all right, let me try and do this. And then the canvas is such an is such a way that no matter even if you fuck up, you still have to see it to the end because you bought this pumpkin. Yeah. So you just try your best at it. Maybe I can uh, tell my sister, and she'd be like, you know what we need right now, pumpkin. She'd be like, you know what, you're 100% right. Because if I told my mom, she'd go like, yeah, yeah, maybe. But if I told my sister, she'd 100% just buy a pumpkin by the time I finish. Immediately. Excellent. Yep. This is what uh, alcohol drinkers thought would life would be like the second you start drinking. Just women want you the second you pick up a door. Is that Marty McFly? <laughs> <laughs> He's dressed as him for Halloween, I guess. What's your butt type? Of course, no one ever told you that Bud tastes like piss. Here's Elvira back again. This is for Halloween Horror Nights. No, it's not. I guess it's just for Mug. Finally, two great tastes in. The movie Psycho and Elvira. He's terrified of the prospect of showering with Elvira. He couldn't handle it. He crumbled. <laughs> he crumbled at the goal line. This summer, coming to a supermarket near you. Wait, what? What was it? Now we'll never know. I love school. My trick or treat candy. Take some of mine. That never happened. Mr. Goodboy, Kit Kat. I've never seen a kid willing to give that much chocolate away. Yeah, that this is all a complete lie. Yeah. I hope there's some Charlie Brown commercials in here. That that sheet ghost is getting me nostalgic. It for is some Charlie Brown. Uh, yes, for the great uh, the the great pumpkin Charlie Brown. Yeah, one of the greatest uh, Halloween specials out there. For three years. Also, the Today's best Charlie Brown special. Yes, yes, yes. Snoopy is the Red Baron wandering through the wasteland trying to get home. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. It's fantastic stuff. Is this count powered by the Duracell battery? So be Actually, I don't know if it's a count or just someone Duracell. being Dracula. With three years I guess if you don't have glasses, you're not the count. Elvira back again? She was really everywhere in the 90s. The people yearned for bad horror movies then. I do kind of like bad horror movies. There's something great about like old horror movies. Like, the, what the fuck is The Wasp Woman? Like, I, I would watch that. I would watch The Wasp Woman. 100% I would right now. I love them. I, I'm sad that they don't do those anymore. Where it's like a host and they say like, Hey man, we're in this together. Let's watch The Woman Who Wouldn't Die. Yeah, <laughs> totally watching this with you yeah 100 percent i mean i guess that's kind of what uh twitch streams are kind of like i guess no it's not the same you no know, it's not exactly it's a the more the production values are different yeah yeah there's no one like yeah no one in chat spamming weird penis emails your gang can turn them in for free dessert treats These are like some crazy and sample Halloween. size Sundays at McDonald's. Each book also comes with a mail-in certificate for this free Roger That would be uh, when you buy a nightmare. Ooh, Roger Rabbit. VHS, though, so no perverts here with your laser disc. McDonald's Happy Halloween Certificates. A deal so good, it's eerie. What do you put in your McDonald's Halloween pumpkins? My, one of my favorite things about that, um, Disney and McDonald's used to have a big deal with each other when it came to the to movie releases. And then they bet big on Dick Tracy, because uh, Disney guaranteed them that this was going to be the next Star Wars. 
and it was not <laughs> Dick Tracy released and was not the big smash hit that they said and they said we are no longer doing deals with Disney and then the next movie I think they released was like Lion King and then they got yelled at by their um, stock people who were like why didn't you why didn't you go with the good one we're losing the Burger King over here because they got the good toys but they're like yeah we cut them off right there which is pretty funny. That's extremely delicious calchocular cereal. Man, this is damn nice. it. I want some calchocular so fucking. Yeah, if anything else, this is. <laughs> damn it, what's, what's There's three of them, right? It's calchocular, blueberry, and uh, some third one. Frankenberry? Frankenberry, calchocular, and um, blueberry. These two. Oh, blueberry. Blueberry's the ghost, right? That's yeah. Frankenberry. Sorry, I like, right. I like, uh, I like blueberry. Because he's he's chill. Yeah, of the three, Count Chocula is my favorite, but I do like blueberry. Well. I understand. Do you know that in the um, power scaling debate, that the only known weakness of Count Chocula is get soggy in milk? Really? Yes. Immortal <laughs> otherwise. Yeah, he is immortal otherwise. That is his only weakness is that he gets soggy in milk. Holy shit! Oh, fried chicken. Is this pop? No. KFC. Roy Rogers big chicken. Another thing that certainly does not exist anymore. Oh, that was an amazing skeleton animation. <laughs> oh. They spent all of their budget on this skeleton. Show him one more time, come on. You know you want to. Yeah! <laughs> it had to be a stop motion skeleton. This Halloween, find fun somewhere new. Pillsbury Halloween cookies. cookies. With Linus's great pumpkin and Halloween chocolate cookies. ghosts. Just yeah, if anything else, I've these Halloween commercials are working at making me want to eat. Which is maybe the show's the sign of America today. <laughs> these a yeah, lot of these commercials. Seafood must have food. Yeah, I'm not like going like, man. Do I need Energizer batteries? Not really. No. Yeah, and none of this has made me even remotely interested, other than all of the food. <laughs> Free food commercial. I'm like, fuck, I want that. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Oh no, Dracula's been locked out. He died. Oh my. God. He died because he didn't have an Energizer battery. It's more like fraud killer. Can't believe he lost the Energizer battery. <laughs> Idiot. Couldn't even handle the Energizer bunny. Exactly. Food. <laughs> Putting these up with all. Oh, there you go. Yeah, There's a great pumpkin commercial. You're right. Oh, yeah. I hope you'll bring me lots of presents. They're back. All the little peanuts characters. Good God, that is the most like low quality. <laughs> it has to be for commercial again. It's a great pumpkin, Charlie. Uh, not there's not a lot of great preservation when it comes to commercials at these times because no one was really expecting to like save them. It's the same reason why a lot of Doctor Who episodes are missing, where it's like, yeah, we didn't think this series would go on for 60 years, so we kind of just threw away the negatives the second we were done with them. So a lot of the times, if you want to find old TV stuff, you have to hope somebody was recording it at that exact moment in time. So that's chances are what is uh, with this great pumpkin Charlie Brown, because I'm pretty sure this is from the 70s, which is insane. How old is... Charlie Brown, very old. He's an American icon. The pumpkin patch this Halloween. The pumpkin cutter, a great yes, way to let your kids carve us. their own pumpkins without sharp edges that cut little hands. It even makes If when I ever visit you, I'll make sure to do it during Halloween and we can do a pumpkin carving. Yeah, yeah, we can carve pumpkins. Fuck pumpkin yeah. Light. Yeah, the put it in there. It's the only time people will see my, my full-on hands because I keep myself away from online at all times. I'll gladly show. Are you trying to? Cut open this pumpkin. For great Halloween fun, what the fuck is that, Dracula? Decorations at Walgreens. Just seven nine seven nine nines, and that's a steal. Activated Halloween figures, battery operated pirate skull, witches, skeletons, and more. Stock up Tweaking out skeleton. Walgreens has a wide selection. I would gladly buy that. All kinds, and it's I'd buy that today, actually. Cards. Put your favorite photo on any of six beautiful designs. All orders include a free marker pen. Treat yourself to savings this week at Walgreens. Walgreens still around. Elvira here, mistress of the dark, Elvira's and sometimes back. surfer babe, because Coors Light is the official beer of Halloween at the parties at the beach, Malibu Beach, where you can hang ten. Look, was that person hanging? <laughs> Did they just show a live hanging on a commercial? <laughs> 
fake it all. No, that's crazy. They get no special effects, but that's still kind of crazy that they just hung that dude in the middle of this commercial. It's like uh, a cannibal holocaust Halloween commercial. <laughs> yes, the, finally, the cannibal holocaust of commercials, Elvira's. Aw, oh, this kid's going for some mean puberty. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> it's a Halloween kid. His friends did too. Look, Mike's a vampire. Amy's a ghost. Sure. Makeup is safer than mass. It also could be seen as clown, <laughs> to be honest, the white face fade. So watch your kids turn into the creatures they really are with new Paz Halloween makeup kits. Terrifying children. Halloween's coming. What are you going to do about it? Yes, and how, what are you going to do when Halloween comes for you? I don't know, man. Get one of those Hallmark masks, I guess. <laughs> That's the answer. Get a little... The only solution <laughs> presented to us. I need to hit up Hallmark. There's a devil pumping gas. Whether you do a little or a lot, be an original this Halloween. Man, I miss Halloween. Me too. I don't know if it's just where I live, but it's not like a community thing anymore. No, that's an unfortunate thing. There, there's very few times where I'll say like, oh man, the community aspect of stuff, but actually, for legitimately, for Halloween, a lot of the danger towards kids has made it so it's very hard to celebrate Halloween, actually. Too many... Did you know that it's actually uh, that no child has ever died from Halloween candy? And the only time it's never happened? Um, you know, it's like the big myth, right? Like, the, oh, they're going to poison the Halloween candy or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it only happened one time, and the person who poisoned the kid was his own father. See, that's the problem. Is that, that one fucking parent ruined it for the rest of us? Yeah. Just kill Halloween for something that never actually happened. It's so sad. But yeah, I, I'm with you. I love Halloween. I wish there was a way to bring back the Halloween spirit. That, they just give that kid, like, some money. That helps treat the disabled. Thank you. Okay, we can't make fun of this, and this is for helping the disabled. <laughs> yeah. Calm down. Can We're we shooting at our own Easter? men. <laughs> Don't get us. Why are they saying thank you? Are these... They might be disabled. Disabled? Yeah, oh, that kid's clearly disabled. Oh, Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna withhold any comments for the remainder of this. <laughs> I wonder if she's okay. disabled. She says she like wants <laughs> Cheerios. <laughs> we're back in. Alright, we're good, we're good. Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> no one's disabled here, no worries. God, but that Wendy's got a huge fucking forehead. <laughs> that Wednesday. Yeah. Doesn't, Wendy, doesn't Wendy always have a huge... Actually... Her forehead's not that big, it's her eyes. Yeah, okay, fair enough. It's the eyes, actually. Look real hard and he'll magically appear in these 3D pictures on the back of marked boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios. Oh no, watch out, that truck's gonna run- truck's gonna run over those- oh, never mind. Holy shit. He's fiending for that Pepsi. Nothing about Pepsi requires for Frankenstein to be acting this way. What? No dip? For a really great Damn. Halloween. You have shitty friends, Frankenstein. And Doritos. Kids, can we I feel sorry for Frankenstein now. Just like I do at the end of every Frankenstein movie. I feel sad I feel sad for him. My costume. I'm so scared. Universal Studios monsters are on the loose. You can get one toy. That was actually true to a lot of Dracula things. Is that do kids find Dracula scary anymore now that there's like killers like Jason out there? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Also, vampires in general have kind of not been scary in a long time. It feels no, like they've been more. Uh, they've uh, focused more in on the uh, attractiveness of vampires nowadays. Yeah, like the sexy vampire thing. Yeah. Which I know everyone's going to point to Twilight, but that definitely started with like Interview with a Vampire. Yeah, the Interview with the Vampire was the progenitor of it all. You can't you can't blame Twilight for uh, running to the races when the first one to win the race was Interview with a Vampire. <laughs> yeah. And it was praised for it, so you can't really fault them. Ah, oh, Corona! It's terrifying! <laughs> Oh my god. Is it cutting the line? Is that what's happening? I guess so. This is that or this dude had the weirdest jack off session that you've ever seen? Is that what the inside of a line looks like? It doesn't look like it to me. That did not look like a line. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting to see. No. 
the search for Halloween headquarters. Find her Halloween party. Oh Let's man, rest in peace, this guy door. is wrong. I, I think the funniest thing to hear about, because uh, he did a lot of the Naked Gun movies, and I think a lot of people ask him, it's like, how are you so funny? And then I think his response is like, I don't understand how any of the things I do there is funny. And that's actually why it's so funny, is that he's actually treating it 100% with real, with realness. He has no idea why people find it so funny. What is th listen to this fucking guy. Take it easy, bro. I know, this guy's going a little too aggro. Have a happy- Oh god, bring back the other guy. What in the hell is this? It's an ice cream, I think? It's an ice cream cake? I think so. That that old man Halloween must be the one- Halloween is not really the time of year I would consider ice cream cakes. No. But you know what? You're <laughs> you're an ice cream cake maker in October. You need to make money. This Paul McCartney? No. Zima. A Zima. Have a Zima. Have a Zima ween. That's terrifying. If I walked into someone's house and they had a fridge full of Zima. Yeah, a fridge full of Zima. No, thank you. No thanks. This guy's mullet. He's being attacked for his mullet. Now this has to use some footage from Night of the Living Dead. Or at least heavily inspired. This seems like an anti-Miller and Light ad, because they let you know that the fans of Miller Light are actually zombies who fiend for Miller Are zombies, yeah. Of it's the and official beer of Halloween, Zen. If you're Halloween gonna be bearing it up on Halloween, you need to have what? Coors Light. You don't believe me? Well, you need like a sign from above. God himself Coors breaks Coors down. Display wherever you buy Coors Light. And it's just perfect for when friends drop in. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 the edit of the dummies turning into people? That was good. That, oh, roll, roll that back. Alright, roll, roll it that back, was, roll it back. Beautiful. Roll it back. Yeah, that was fucking magical. Alright. And it's just perfect for when Brynn got in. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, you're right. That's that, amazing. That is amazing. Absolutely Movie fantastic. magic, baby. They knew. Kid Frankenstein. Introducing spooky goop. <laughs> Are you looking to get gooped up, Zen? Me get gooped? Get get spooky goop this Halloween. This kid gooped it up. I don't know how about putting a bunch of goop on my face would feel like. Maybe it's because I have a beard, but I don't want to be a beard goop. This is the place for Halloween. Casper. We've got everything. There's nothing about Casper that these people should be terrified them, of, but I guess that's a prices. joke. I guess proof of a dollar ninety hell <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> hey, you know, if Casper can't concept, make it, what he's pretty scary. Just because he's nice. Yeah. If and like I can understand asshole ghosts, but if it was someone like Casper becomes a ghost, what chance do I have? <laughs> True. Will be out long after yeah. dark, so I depend on Duracell batteries to light their way. I don't go with them. I just say go at it and have fun. Give them one flashlight. <laughs> I give them one flashlight and I say yeah, the best with you kids, and they go out and have an adventure. Don't worry, kids. I can give you the Duracells. <laughs> Young children should be accomplished at night, as opposed to this commercial which shows them going out to go out there and have some fun. Oh, it's 1980s, okay. Halloween is coming. My That's also crazy holiday. to think about. There was a time where people just sent their kids out at night and said, you know what, have at it. Made with real milk chocolate. And in the spirit of the season, here's oh, what shit. Nestle is doing for me. You get a dollar refund with every big forehead Frankenstein. Nestle mini bags and a dollar's worth of coupons in every specially marked Halloween pack. There are my friends now. Mm -hmm. oh. You scared me. Nestle bar. Terrifying. Get real savings on real chocolate from Nestle. <laughs> There's an odd, unexplainable phenomenon haunting Pizza Hut. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. It's me who's haunting the Pizza Hut. No, 
It's new stuffed oh, crust pizza. Stuffed crust pizza. Cheese baked in the edge of a total I like the idea of stuffed crust pizza, but I don't think I've actually had it in a very long time. Every living person will be eating it the wrong way, crust first. Hey, look! I'm eating like a flesh. Also, these dudes from the 90s Casper movie. So living. You love the stuff we made of Pizza Hut! Some more spooky ghosts. Oh, check out this awesome skeleton. Is he gets booed off stage for some reason? Oh my god! Oh, it's a Nickelodeon. The Nickelodeon skeleton. All right, cool. These Nickelodeon kids as well. Giant corn. Yeah. There's nothing. There. This is the Nickelodeon. I actually the funniest thing about Nickelodeon is that Nickelodeon tried to avoid doing the Disney thing, and then they hit it big with SpongeBob and said, "You know what?" We're gonna take that all back. <laughs> Let's walk. We said some things at the beginning of making of Nickelodeon, such as we never see ourselves turning into Disney. We want to make it feel like kids are running the studios. We just made a fuck ton of money on SpongeBob, and I feel like we could make more. <laughs> it's maybe the funniest and the saddest part of Nickelodeon's history. Is like, where does it technically die as we know it? It's right when <laughs> SpongeBob hits, but it's too. Is it really SpongeBob's fault for being so good? Yeah, it, you know, you can't fault Spongebob for being the best cartoon of all time. Yeah, you just can't. What is this? See, my my brother for the longest time did not believe me that Cousin Skeeter was a real TV show. Really? Yes, because I kept explaining it is as like... Is the audio cut out for you as well? No, no, it's fine for me right now. It must be a, a internet issue on our side, I think. Can oh, you hear weird. it, Ryan? Yeah, I can't hear the audio. I can't hear the... Oh, wait. No, you can't again. Weird. Might have been too loud. That might have been the thing that happened. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it, like, killed the audio. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he didn't believe me, because I just said, like, yeah, it was a show about a, a, a black puppet and a black family, and he goes to space. And he's like, that sounds like you're just lying to me. But it really happened. Cousin Skeeter, he went to space. Red Flintstone. Cartoon Network was hosting a Halloween. Oh, man. Back when they actually showed these old S cartoons. <laughs> they don't do that no more. Just Teen mm -hmm. Titans Go now. <laughs> Just Teen Titans Go on loop. Yeah, the scariest thing they could do. So we used to be a real country, Zen. Featuring real cartoons on Halloween. <laughs> Featuring Jesse and James meeting Batman. What are your names? Jesse. James. And Meow. Sorry, you're not on the guest list. What? Didn't you RSVP? No. Batman Beyond Five versus Jesse and James. This is the best person of all time. Something else. The Haunted House Halloween Bash continues with Sylvester and Tweety. Next. Uh, we're here for the party. Don't even try it. Wait, wait. Man, you can't fool Batman, Zen. Even back, even when he's old. You can't trip him. The master of kid suspense, R.L. Stein. Okay, that makes sense. Your favorite books to life. Yeah, I had all these books, Fox and I read them all. Television series. Ask me anything about any Goosebumps book, and I can tell you what it is about. I don't even know the names of Goosebumps books. Like, so, I, when, we, when we finish this, before we sign off, I'm going to Google a list of Goosebumps books, and I'm going to put that to the test. Okay, sounds good. You'll do that. i name as many Goosebumps books as I can. And I will try my best to remember and tell you exactly what they're about. I read a lot of them. I was a big reader as a kid. Nowadays, less so. Come to Hallmark, the Halloween store. That's a Hallmark commercial? We're waiting yeah. for you. That was not what I expected. What a twist. The world's biggest Halloween ah. is coming to Six Flags Great Adventure. Friday night, Saturdays and Sundays. I've never been to Six Flags during Halloween, Halloween though. Neither have I. I've only been to King's Dominion during Halloween. Mainly because I need to lose some some pounds if I actually want to go on these roller coasters. Because these are a pain in the ass if you're a big man. They hurt to go into. Oh, because of the harness thing? Mm hmm the, 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 Whatever the thing that goes over your lap. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's uh, it hurts. And the ones that you can fit in, it's a nightmare because you feel like you're dying. But, you know, fun. Casper? Yeah, this has to be Casper-related. 
Yeah. Don't ask me how I remember the exact layout of the house from the movie Casper. Oh, man. <laughs> it's just, it, I, I just do. This summer, you're going to believe in ghosts. The they tried so hard to get this movie off the run. This ha this this movie has like the craziest cameo cast in the world. They have like Dan Aykroyd and Harold Ramis reprising their roles from Ghostbusters in it for like a scene. Uh, fucking Gran Torino is in it. I can't believe I'm forgetting his name right now. Old white man. Uh, Clint Eastwood? Yes, Clint Eastwood is in it, Mel Gibson is in it. This Halloween, when you stock up I want to say Spielberg originally wanted to direct it. You'll find coupons for Ew, they're pouring Pepsi and Doritos into it. Uh, uh, candy? Oh, God. Yeah, these witches are evil, so. That is not what I would nothing, call Nothing Marty. about those three things being consumed in a like, wet pool of Pepsi together makes me want to buy any of them. 89 cents! Holy shit! The 70s were a wild time. Yeah. Now this is actual Frankenstein footage. How about some honey nut Cheerios? How much bank was Honey Nut Cheerios making that they could afford stock footage from Frankenstein? To pre-purpose to make it look like it was for Cheerios? I guess that more says how much uh, the Frankenstein franchise mattered by this point. The of the year, we live in a world of make believe. This time, is that fucking Seth Green? Blood. Halloween comes to Sunnydale. Real blood. See oh my God, it's Buffy. It <laughs> that was a great effect right there. <laughs> that was an amazing effect. Television's master of the night. Maybe it's just a neat trick. Or it might be something else. A Halloween full night event. Buffy. Do you have a gun right there? She did. Apparently, Buffy is fucking packing a six millimeter. I don't, I don't remember Buffy having guns very often. That would solve a lot of problems. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, she normally she just like kicks them. Yeah. I cannot handle how well animated these dudes are right now. Ghost. Our Count Chocula cereal. It's it's haunted. Bro, but the Count Chocula, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. It's like the Akira gift. Yeah, it is 100%. Leave me alone. Count Chocula. Cowards are leaving their kids to the fate. Oh, back when they. Money smack? Money smack. Yes. I love back when cereal mascots, all like they were all just mascots that really wanted to eat the cereal really fucking bad. Yeah. That's all they wanted, man. All they wanted was some damn cereal. Is that where the commercial ends? I think so. With them trapped? I guess no, they, they, they got oh, the Oh, okay, escaped. Alright, yeah, I was about to say, did it just end with him getting caged and left there? It'd be horrifying. Well, we're here for the party. Alright, yeah, okay. Here you go. You don't understand, Slick. We're here for the party. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Hey, why would you throw the kids candy on the ground if you thought they were children? What a dick. Yeah, 90s dudes were pains in the asses. Here's your fucking candy, idiot. Is he gonna eat this guy? This is horrifying, then. Yeah, what is this? is like surgery. Uh, no. He basically kid no. murdered that guy. He hollowed out his yeah, insides like, and put he him. Cut in his him. body open. Yeah, that's horrifying. Imagine doing that to a person in real life. This has to be the 70s. Because this is still the original voice of Tony the Tiger. <laughs> Tony the Tiger looks very different. He does. They made him more buff over the years. Holy shit, he said the ghost of a chance. This is where Yu-Gi-Oh took it from. Is this Psycho? Holy shit, Bud Light jump scare! <laughs> Spuds fucking Spuds McKenzie! Oh my god, I have not seen Spuds in a very long time. And he's also the mother. He's also the mother from Psycho, yeah. Based on a true story. Skittles? Yeah, Skittles. Holy shit, that's a big bag of Skittles. I like Skittles. I recognize that they are probably not actually the fruit that they purport to be. 
dead Barney. Only your fruity pebbles can set my spirit free. My fruity pebbles? Okay, okay. This is a mean thing to do to a friend, Barney. Fruity Fred really thinks that you died and you can't pass on because you don't have. Damn. You made sure to have double. God damn, how man, pebbles are good too. Man, I want to try that. Yeah, Cereal yeah. bangs, dude. It does. It does. Cereal so slappy. Sensual Saturdays. I'm slappy. Oh god, he's scarier than anything else you've seen so far. Yes, he is. Slappy is a terrifying character. That's why they keep using him in Goosebumps. Because he's the scariest thing in Goosebumps. Fox kids. You know, you really should try to get some I want to say there's like a 20 minute video of all the the different like because it was like an entire event where Slappy took over. Um, Slappy took over Fox Kids. So he was there for the entire thing, introducing shows and doing this. It was like an entire tiny story arc. It was crazy. I watched the compilation a little while ago. <laughs> That's how I know. Are you supposed to eat this? Okay, sure. How do we get boys to cook? What if we made brains? Captain Crunch? I don't eat regular original Captain Crunch now that I think about it. I only have the oops all berries. Oh really? I like I like the mix of the original plus the fresh berries. I don't like the all. Is that peanut butter? I don't know if they make that anymore. I'm wondering if they make. I remember having it. In the it's either they don't make it anymore or there. It's always been peanut butter crunch, and I just don't realize it. I was about to say that doesn't taste like peanut butter. I've got some old suspenders and some frozen peas. Yeah, I would destroy that person's house it's who gave me this. Frozen peas. Right stuff. At Walgreens, we yeah. have yummy candy, fun costumes, and all kinds Bubbles. of spooky decorations. So come into Walgreens, the easiest way to grab all your Halloween needs. Halloween doesn't have to be spooky. Vincent Price back at it again. Not with Easter Seal Safe Halloween coupons. The safe treat that gives treatment. Safe Halloween coupons are good for treats at stores and restaurants. I'll give him this. He knew how to make money by in his old age. Yeah, he sure did. Yeah. You want me to say Halloween coupons? You got it. I'm Vincent Price. say it a million times? I will do it. Gladly. Is this Spud McKenzie again? What is this? It's pizza, mother. Half cheese and half pepperoni? Half for you and half for me. Just the way we like it. So, someone delivered this pizza. You know what happens when we have visitors. It's not delivery, mother. <laughs> Don't lie Is this a DiGiorno now. commercial? Yeah. No, mother. It's DiGiorno. Alfred Hitchcock <laughs> wa <laughs> watching this from the grave going, I wish I was half the, <laughs> the director that these people were. Yes, mother. <laughs> It's not delivery, mother. It's DiGiorno. Here we see Ronald McDonald misusing his magic powers to dress up chicken nuggets. Now you tell me. His depressed vulture friend. I don't remember. Oh, it's Cryptkeeper. Hello. Back when he was the scare host for Horror Nights. Before they eventually started making their own. I bet people won't realize it, but um, Tales from the Crypt actually used to be like an insanely good show on HBO. It was like one of the best shows that they had on there until their final season, which was complete shit. But it had like a bunch of good desk grass directors. It's like one of the crazy. I, I've rewatched it recently. It's insane how good it is. And you'd never expect it. Like Robert Zemeckis directed one of the episodes. Arnold Schwarzenegger directed one of the episodes. It's kind of crazy. It's insane. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
He walked through that like he was Jaws 4D. He just. <laughs> Made with more natural orange flavor than ever before. Ooh. Try Shasta. This is for Shasta. Shasta. Oh my god. <laughs> I would be so pissed off my work there. How do I explain what happened? A fucking Frankenstein came in and fucking didn't use the door. This is the second scariest thing in this box. This mask. Goosebumps. The haunted mask. It's your face now. The idea of a mask that you can no longer take off. A most chilling experience is waiting for you. You can make your next party oh, a real goosebumps. scream with a Goosebumps ice cream cake for a limited time. Wow, for why are they selling so much ice cream cake? Shop. A taste so good you can send shivers down your friend's taste buds. Was ice cream cake a bigger thing than I remember it being? Maybe in the 90s. Maybe that was the first time they made ice cream cake. Ice cream cake. Actually, when was ice cream cake invented? I have no idea. Is this a McDonald's portion? Good job, kid. <laughs> you sold the shit out of that. Good job, kid. Oh, it's sun kissed. Sun kissed fruit space shapes? We need to go back and see that skeleton dance one more time. Yeah, that, that kid lose it to the skeleton. Look at this skeleton break it down <laughs> for those brief seconds before it gets destroyed. I'll give him the sun kiss. This is the only commercial. Oh man, back when Taco Bell used to have kids meals. Holy shit, is that um, Mandark? Oh my god, it does sound like Mandark. It does. Oh my god, that does not look like the living dummy, and that looks kind of like Hitler. <laughs> Please be a giant Gordito Crunchaw in the, in the lineup. These are all people I've seen eat at Taco Bell. Goosebumps at Taco Bell. Slappy's Candy Keeper, Cuddles the Horrible Hamster, Rapid Mummy, and Skullmobile. Get them now. It's funny that they use the skeleton because the skeleton doesn't have a story in it. He's like a mascot. Uh, I remember Halloween Town. I think. Have you ever heard my diatribe against Halloween Town too? Uh, Calabar's Revenge. About how I feel like that movie wasn't actually uh, did have a script. It was. It was just a, a loose amount of seeds put together. <laughs> I remember as a kid watching Halloween Town 2 and say, this is such a step down of quality from the original Halloween Town. Where's their characterization? Where's the story? <laughs> they make a mediocre sequel to Halloween Town. Yeah, it still visits me off to this day. Especially the ending of it, which features, oh my god, it's one of the shittiest endings that you could ever imagine. Uh, the the bad guy presents a book to the main character and he says, I bet you can't touch this book. And she touches the book and he goes, No! And he's defeated. What? It's insane. It, Halloween Town 2 is a terrible movie. There we go. Slappy. Maybe one day we'll, we'll watch the entire thing, put it up on the channel. <laughs> Halloween Town 2 <laughs> illegal viewing. Man, that voice actor for Slappy had to have been dying by the end of this. Yeah, holy shit. Because he's not like having any, like, like the mummy and the wolfman aren't like backing him up in any way. My god, Arl Stein, they got him. Yeah, it's terrible. Oh, it's oh, terrible. Dangers are here. To help him, I guess. Turbo. Unfortunately, it's not any of the good ones. It's Power Rangers Turbo. <laughs> the... I know Mighty more Power Rangers, I'm afraid. Yeah. Turbo is the hilarious series. High five! 
Ranger Turbo. Uh, Power Rangers Turbo is, in Japanese, Car Ranger is what saved the Sentai series. Uh, because they changed it from... Before then, they had, like, super serious storylines, and then Car Ranger was super funny. And was, like, a parody of all the Sentai stuff. Um... So when they brought it over, they removed all the comedy elements and they made it a super serious show uh, called Turbo Ranger. But they kept all the monster fights, which were silly goof em up fights. <laughs> so it resulted in one of the worst seasons ever, where you're like, this sucks. And then it ends with fucking the command center being destroyed by some goober. And you're like, I can't believe they got fucking got by this weird fish man. <laughs> Man, you want to talk about somebody who knows how to make money? This fucking Elvira actress has been in like 12 of these. Listen, she knows what's up. That's why she knows. Oh, funny enough, they are covering her up here because they said, you know what? We actually can't afford the boob from you in this exact instance. <laughs> but to be fair to her, she knows exactly what the people want and she knows how to, when to give them to the people. Also, I don't know if this is a funny bit, she's happily married to her wife. That's what she's, she's lived a very interesting life. Back in the day, she was sued by Vampira, I think? Because there used to be a vampire lady that did what um, she did uh, beforehand, like years later. Um, and then years later, she got replaced by her, who was like her, but in a more revealing outfit. <laughs> And so she sued and said, like, yo, you took my fucking character. <laughs> and I don't remember how that ended up, but I don't, I don't think she won that one. Because, uh, obviously she's still around. Avira is still around and stuff. But it was literally the same gimmick, like, watching bad horror movies making jokey puns. The only difference was that, um... Oh, was that it? The only difference was, um... The fact that she wore more revealing outfits. <laughs> that was literally the only real difference between the two of them. All right, Zen, that's it for this compilation, and that means that is it for this 13 Nights of Halloween video. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining, especially if you joined us for the entire time. That was a fun trip down Halloween Lane. <laughs> Yeah, man, that was that was nice. I enjoyed that. I like Halloween. Yeah, me too. We both do. So we'll... 13 Nights will continue rolling on. We'll see who the next guest is going to be. Zen will show up a little bit later because we still plan to do a concession stand for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Season Zero because that is the spookiest. We did. We chose not using Yu Yu Hakusho because if we actually started Yu Yu Hakusho, we would want to watch the We would never thing. end it. Yeah, it would yeah. just become Shonen Archive again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it will just be Season Zero for the beginning parts of it, so... But that's it for this video, everyone. Uh, until next time, we'll see you later. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody. Peace.